Hello guys and welcome to a new Industrial Craft 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look to the nuclear energy and the nuclear reactor and this is one of multiple videos to the um, um, nuclear energy and um, first of all we need the nuclear reactor with a free reactor chamber um, four dense lead plate, one advanced circuit and one generator and in this case it's a, a mid game or late game item and um, yeah you need um, some resources and to uh, build this uh, nuclear reactor. Um, the nuclear uh, reactor needs a redstone signal uh, from a lever for example um, to um, um, change the state as on and um, yeah you will need to put in uh, some uh, um, uh, fuel rod um, there are um, normal fuel rod, dual fuel rod and quad fuel rod and um, I will show you how it works. We will turn the lever on and we can see that um, our nuclear reactor is producing some energy. Um, for each um, fuel rod we generate 5 EU per tick and we are generate some heat in this case and um, we can see that um, our only fuel rod are producing um, 4% or 4 degree um, per tick. Um, and um, if uh, we put another fuel rod into, uh, next to our um, fuel rod, we can see that our energy output is increased to 20 and we um, also um, generate more heat as, um, as um, belong. And um, yeah, our fuel rod um, is um, based by a neutron collision. Um, this in the fuel rod um, collides with, um, produces a 5 EU per tick and it collides with this so that we almost generate 10 EU per tick. And this fuel rod collides with this and um, this fuel rod um, has a own generation of 5 and uh, our own neutron so that we um, at least produce 20 EU per tick. Um, the same case is if we um, use the dual um, fuel rod uh, so that we um, produce 20 EU per tick and we will increase it um, more um, with a quad fuel uh, rod um, to 60 EU per tick but we also generate more heat. We can um, cool down the nuclear reactor with heat vents um, with a heat vent like this and we can see that we um, pull out all the, um, all the um, heat but we can also see that the durability of our heat vent is uh, it's too strong. Um, quad fuel, uh, fuel rod is too strong. And we can um, see that we, um, if we use a heat, normal heat vent with a fuel rod, we can see that the um, core temperature is not increasing anymore. Um, and if we want to cool down the core temperature, we need to use an overclocked um, heat vent, um, for example, because the overclocked heat vent will um, decrease the core temperature. And um, so that, uh, there are several different types of vents and exchanger, and um, yeah, in late and future videos we will go. Um, uh, we will give. Uh, I will give you a, a deep dive into the different kinds of heat heat vents. Okay, to um, to um, use some uh, fuel rods in your inventory, for example the dual fuel rod or the quad fuel rod, uh, you need a special um, armor. Um, in my case I use the quantum suit and um, you can also use um, the hazmat suit um, with a scuba, ta um, scuba mask and um, rubber boots um, um, because um, um, if you don't wear it you will um, get damage from radiation. And um, to protect your um, reactor, um, you can use, for example, reinforced stone. Um, I will um, give you the advice to um, use a free rose um, reinforced um, stone um, to completely um, secure that uh, your environment doesn't take any damage. Um, here we can take a little further look at the nuclear reactor setup. Um, if we use reactor chambers on each side, we can see that we have more um, options to put in some quad fuels or events or, or something like that. And here we have a setup from a fuel reactor chamber. We can see that we have on each side a reactor chamber um, and on the top and on the bottom we have a reactor chamber too. And we can see here um, a setup like this. Let's um, 
let's um, change the state as on and we can see we have also an output um, to 240 EU per tick. Nothing happens here. Um, and, and, and this reactor is uh, a little bit, um, yeah, it's an advanced um, configuration because um, we um, we used here a second nuclear reactor and the second nuclear reactor is for example to cool down these overclocked heat runs if a way um, maybe if a, uh, if the durability is too l too slow you can put it out and um, put it in this uh, nuclear reactor to um, to um, minimize uh, or to maximize the du durability to thousand and um, yeah you can um, put it in um, like this into back into your reactor chamber. Um, here we can see um, a setup and just uh, let us uh, take a look at uh, this uh, setup. It's it's the best setup I I have found. And um, yeah, we have um, component heat vents. We, uh, we have advanced heat vents. We have component heat exchanger. We have normal heat vents, and um, we have um, um, you can see the, the flames on the reactor. The reactor is overheating. That's the maximum overheating you could use. Um, but if I uh, stand n next to the reactor, you can see that my our life bar is um, going down because um, the re radiation is too much um, for the quantum suit. And um, yeah, if you go um, back or if you if you want a higher temperature, uh, for example, um, 84. Uh, Degree um, that is uh, no option because um, with 84 the um, 48 in the degree you will have um, um, damage in your environment um, and you will destroy your level for example and um, yeah we will take a further look to the nuclear reactor and um, if we take it here um, the next part um, I will show you is the fluid reactor. Fluid reactor is a normal, um, normal um, nuclear reactor with um, all the six um, nuclear, also also reactor chambers, and um, it is um, completely um, built up with a reactor pressure vessel in a five by five by five multi block, and um, you only need to um, use a reactor western port. A reactor fluid port and a reactor access hatch and a second reactor fluid port. Um, that's the configure. That's the typical configuration for a fluid reactor in industrial craft. Too. And yeah, if we uh, if we use in this uh, like this, you can see um, a normal reactor interface with two tanks. We have on the left side we have industrial craft two coolant. On the right side we have um, in normal case we have industrial craft hot coolant um, but we will take a further look at you. Um, this uh, setup like this we am um, in, in the background we have a fluid ports we have a liquid heat exchanger um, this liquid heat exchanger will get out uh, some hot uh, industrial craft to hot coolant and with heat conductors it will give up uh, some energy to the Stirling generator and the, the Stirling, uh, some heat to the Stirling generator and the Stirling generator. Um, you can generate out of heat um, with some energy. Um, let us um, recreate in this uh, for a moment. We need, we need at first a liquid heat exchanger. We need um, in the liquid heat exchanger a fluid ejector upgrade and a fluid pulling upgrade. To um, to pull out uh, some fluid and um, pull in um, some fluid um, automatically, and we need some heat conductors like this, and um, we can see that our liquid heat is exchange changer also have some hot coolant here, and if I put uh, the Stirling generator and uh, switch it up with a shift and right click, you can see that the Stirling generator will generate some um, EU per tick and um, yeah I also um, I already created here a lot of uh, liquid heat exchanger with uh, sterling generators and um, yeah I also created a, um, a nuclear reactor like this and you can see it's um, it's on okay and we have an output here from uh, 300 EU per tick 
And um, if you see the setup, it's the same setup um, like in this generator. But you can uh, see if we use more um, core temperature, we generate m definitely more EU per tick. And we have the same setup here in this um, uh, reactor. And in this reactor, we also have the same, same setup. And um, we can take a look. We have um, a lot of coolant, we have a lot of uh, sterling generators and so on. And if we use a EU reader on this glass fiber cable for our MFSU, we can see the average of our energy production. And in this case, we can see that we are producing 500 EU per tick, so that uh, we um, already increased our energy production from 300 to 500 roundabout. And um, if we um, take a, a lot more heat, um, we can uh, produce um, till 1,314 EU per tick in this um, in this examples. And yeah, that's um, uh, overview about the nuclear reactors and fluid reactors in Industrial Craft 2. I hope I could tell you something about it. Um, thumbs up and bye.